having a total I don't know how to enter the podcast this morning. Hi. We're going to start this over. Hello. My name is Sharon and I'm <laughs> apparently losing it. Okay. <clears throat> my name is Sharon Graff and I'm the owner of... <laughs> Calm down. Okay. Calm down. I don't know why this is so... <laughs> we take one extra week. Yeah, we podcast. don't know. We don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> this is the Modern Skate Podcast. My name is Sharon, and I own the place, and apparently lose it on <laughs> film day when we've taken too long of a break. And I'm Kaylee. I'm your Gen Z yarn guide here at the Modern Skate. Yes. So, welcome. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of shenanigan. <laughs> See if I can keep calm it down. together. Calm down. <laughs> yes. Calm down. Okay. How about I give myself some energy juice instead? Mm -hmm. I have some coffee this morning. Kaylee has some tea that I brought back from England. Mm -hmm. So I know some of you guys are going to ask and want to know. So England was fabulous. It was a beautiful knitting retreat hosted by Events Unwound, which is um, a company that Carmen Schmidt, owner of A Yarn Story, runs. And it's basically knitting retreats all throughout England. Um, I say all throughout. She's pretty much, I think, she, for the most part, it's been in one location. She is maybe thinking about trying a different location in England as well. But it's in the Cumbria Upper Lakes District of England. Beautiful, beautiful area. There's sheep all around. And it was a fabulous, relaxing retreat. It was, um, I believe she calls it the classic retreat. She does a couple different styles. The classic is the most chill, relaxed, um, not really a specific thing that they're going to be teaching on. There was an optional little class um, taught by Amanda, and of course, lots of help available and things like that if you wanted it. But it was just really nice, made some fabulous new friends, and uh, reconnected with some old ones, and it was just such a great time. And then I got. I had a, an extra night in London and realized the hotel that I booked was a two minute walk from the British Museum <laughs> of Natural, uh, the Natural History, no, the, the big one, whatever it's actually called, uh, where they have all the ancient Egyptology, Roman Empire, all that display. So I spent five hours wandering around there <laughs> and it was glorious. Ate lots of really good food, uh, lots of tea, which was lovely. I do like British proper tea. It is lovely. <laughs> um, and yeah, that was my, oh, there is one sad, I got a lot of knitting done. There are two updates to my knitting. One, first, uh, on the last episode, you will saw me knitting on my Stockholm hat. Stockholm hat? Yes, Stockholm mm -hmm. hat by Petite Knit because I was going to finish it for the trip, and I did, and I wore it, and it was lovely, and it's somewhere on the E cabin tr tr train from Penrith to London. It did not make it home. Wah, wah. So hopefully somebody <laughs> found it and at least enjoys it. I mean, it's nice yarn, so. Lost my hat. Um... And then I did not get as much knitting done as panicked packing me <laughs> thought I would, but I did get a good chunk done, um, as you'll see with my first finished object here in a minute. So, how was the shop? What was, how was it going? It was going good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We, good. everyone missed you, but we're glad you're back now. Yay. Um, it was fun. So, I feel like I've been gone longer just because it ended up that I had a wedding to go to, and so mm -hmm. I missed two Saturdays, so it's like, 
weird. <laughs> and now this coming Saturday, which should be when this podcast gets uploaded, is our weekend um, celebration weekend for seven year anniversary, which is super fun. We'll talk a little bit about that at the end. Um, if you can make it, we're also open on Sunday that week. So mark your calendars because it's one of the three Sundays in a year that we're open. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to podcast. Let's do <laughs> finished objects first. Uh, so I would have had my hat, wah, wah, but I don't. So will I knit it again? I don't know. It's to be determined. But I finished a, and I think I showed the yarn wound on the podcast. I can't remember exactly. But I knit this on my trip, Shift Cowl by Andrea Mowry. And this is all my lovely neutral spin cycle. I love it. So it's three skeins, one of Stay Ready, and then two of Reykjavik. I had in my stash, a, I'll say a dark skein of Reykjavik and a lighter skein of Reykjavik. So what I basically did um, was start off with Reykjavik as my color A for the background. And then um, I alternated between one skein of Reykjavik and the Stay Ready for the little dots as you would for B and C. But then when it had you switch color A background, I switched it to the other skein of Reykjavik and then pretty much kept Stay Ready as the, the I'll say the bumps that you go along here. Um, and then for the bind off, yeah, I just alternated Stay Ready and Reykjavik. So I pretty much used up I mean, you do use up most of your yarn for the shift cowl, but I used up the lighter skein of Reykjavik completely, um, you know, within like this much to spare on a row. Um, so, yeah, I love it. It's so it perfect. It turned out so good. Yeah. And you could do the same concept with, with honestly, if you have like, I mean, that's the cool part about Spin Cycle is batch to batch they're going and even within one batch they're going to have such really cool details because that's how it's dyed I'm going to go on a slight spin cycle rant here so with the nature of it being dyed in the wool um basically you've got to think of it as this rope about yay big that's not really rope it's just a uh, pulled and combed there's a spinning term for it now I can't think of it it's kind of like pin drafted but it's not um it's the step before that and it's this roving that gets dyed first in these big bumps and so it it takes the dye so wild and crazy and then it gets pin drafted and then it gets spun mimicking hand spun which is why they could dye it exactly the same every time, but because of how it's gonna be spun, it's gonna be different every time, which is super cool. So that's my little, I love spin cycle. <laughs> so finished object, the shift cowl by Andrew Mowry, two skeins of Reykjavik, one skein of Stay Ready. We are unfortunately sold out of Reykjavik now because we had several kits of this go, but there's lots of other spin cycle we'll talk about. Mm -hmm. I don't have any finished objects. Okay. Do you have any? Uh, no, that w this is my only okay. one. So dive right in. Let's see. So I've made a lot of progress on my Moby sweater. So I finished the back panel and oh, wow. both of the front shoulder pan panels and I've joined in the round now. So where is it? I'm working on the body in the round but it's coming up so nice that is really looking good i love it yes so this is my moby sweater oh, it's the moby sweater man pattern by petite knit um and i'm using scout in charcoal heather it's coming up really nice mm -hmm. i love really it really good stitch definition mm -hmm. that's the nice thing about scout is 
with its heathered look some people are like oh well, it may not give a good stitch definition no it gives it does. fabulous mm -hmm. stitch definition it really does for both color work and for textured stitches like that it's beautiful okay, yes well, I, mean, I mean it's black and you can still see I all know, the exactly. detail you know so good yes and i just broke into my second skein oh, so yeah. that's that's the other it's nice got thing. a lot of yardage in there mm -hmm. 276 I something think, like that something. Mm -hmm. 270 something so for dk that's fabulous okay so whips let me show my oldest one right now because i haven't really worked on it since probably i showed it last i don't remember i honestly have not worked on it in the past three weeks because i kind of forgot about it but i found it this morning so this is the another petite knit the balloon card uh no, not a cardigan. Balloon sweater. Um, I have joined in the round, um, past the sleeves, and now it's just keep going on the body. Um, so this is going to go in my need mindless knitting because it's just round and round and round um, pile. So yeah, this did not go on the trip. It did not get knit on. Yarn is, now I have the hiccups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yarn is discontinued Shibui um, for the mohair. Again, tinsel mohair would be a fabulous option. And then Daka Sock in um, Her Majesty's Navy. So that's a quick little update. Mm. You have two projects? Yes, just two. Okay. Hold off on that yes. one because I have four. So we'll make, make, make it even. It, um, okay. Uh -oh. Oops. oh, that was just my phone case. It's fine. So then I have my Copenhagen cardigan. Ooh. Another mohair. <laughs> um, I'm, that's what's left of my ball of <laughs> mohair. I have another ball in the bag somewhere. Okay. Let me get this. So I'm very close to. No, I'm not. I think I'm actually just a few rows away from separating for sleeves. I need to recount. I've just kind of been mindlessly working on it. Uh, but that's the start. It's looking so good. It is. I did take it with me and I worked a little bit on it in England, but not a whole lot. Um, and the cool thing about this is you do the little buttonholes as you go which gave me some trouble because I would knit, 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 and then realize I'd forgotten buttonholes and had to rip back. But it's really fun. So this is our Copenhagen um, Knit Along. It is the Copenhagen Cardigan by Petite Knit. Strand of fingering, strand of mohair. I'm using Sunday, uh, Sandus Garn Yarn Sunday, and the Tin Silk Mohair, both in the colorway Bristol Black 3800. Uh, and it's just that really nice charcoal graphite sort of color. And I love it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is my airy essential. So I've finished one sleeve already. And I'm working on the other one. I decided to do sleeves first so that I can mm -hmm. adjust the bot. I think it's the back actually. Oops. There we go. Doesn't matter much, but um so yes, this is my airy essential is the name of the pattern. I'm just loosely following it. Um, and this is the one that I don't remember how to pronounce her name, oh, but yeah. mm -hmm. we'll put it in the You can, you can find comments. it on Ravelry. Yeah. It'll be on Ravelry. Um, yes, yeah, so this is just stash yarn that I don't know the name of or anything, <laughs> but you could use fluff yeah. if you wanted to get a similar look. Mm -hmm. So yeah, very simple raglan. Um, Yarn over increases. Yeah, I like the detail mm -hmm. there though. Makes it yes. a little special. So it works up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I already got one sleeve done. I think bef last time I showed it, I didn't even separate for sleeves. I yet. was about to say, no, I'm pretty sure it was just it's a just little, all little there. thing. Yeah. Yep, awesome. so that's that. And that's all I have, okay. surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> You've been good. You haven't I've cast on a ton of stuff. I've been trying to take a break from spending a lot of money on yarn. But <laughs> We'll see how long I can wait. Uh, the weekend's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but 
you're working some extra hours so mm -hmm. you know okay I can get well let me just show this so this is my retreat <laughs> so if you don't know there's a company called hide and hammer and I have had several of their bags over the years but never this is their what they call the iconic O3 roll top bag it's got this lovely little handle this goes over the top and then the bag opens up to be a massive sweater bag um new who owns hide and hammer and is the creative behind it it will happen to be at the retreat and i've like seen her on social media and stuff well we turned out to be fast friends you know separated by a continent but um yes obviously a blue lovely blue bag i mean it would be nice if it was navy but we've had a chat about her fabrics and navy may be coming but also i think we're gonna be bringing these into the shop too because they're just so nice yes so it's a it's a thicker comp canvas but it's not like like it's it's still malleable if that makes mm -hmm. sense um but it also like holds its shape too it's it's kind of interesting so two project i'm going to show this one last the project that i mostly worked on in england and you're going to see why because y'all haven't seen this before because i cast on <laughs> is this sweater. Oops. So this is the Kerr by um, Rebecca Klo. And it's wrinkled and it's fine. But this is, you can't see any of the color work. Ta-da! Yes, that was my shoulders cracking. Um, so this is a beautiful color work panel in the middle and then there's a color work on each of the armbands. It's, it was actually originally designed in Euless, but I am using Red Stag's Fiber newest yarn that's releasing in a week or two, so I'm gonna try to finish it before <laughs> then. But this is actually Too Fit Josh. Um, it was, I hate to say a feminine pattern, but it, it wasn't necessarily a unisex cut the way it was designed. So had to do some modifications in terms of really just making it, making the armholes deep enough. Um, but other than that, um, and then just adding length to the overall um, sweater itself. But I'm loving it. So the colorway, so this is the new yarn. It's called Yorkshire Sport, um, which we will be getting in the colorway Brick Tavern and Aberdeenshire. And it's just amazing yarn. I love it so much, so much. So April 5th is when this will be in the store. Um, it's gonna be so good. So I worked on that. That still smells like um, the fireplace I'm knitting. <laughs> so nice my other project that I cast on is the miles T by Ozetta and I just have the back done but kind of like Kaylee's it has this really cute little yarn over detail that'll run like along the back of the shoulders um, which is cute and this yarn is one we're going to show at the end this is one of our new yarns we are now Ritual Dye Stockists. Surprise, yay. <laughs> um, we actually worked with Ritual Dyes way back in 2018 um, when they were wholesaling, not their yarn, but just the knitter's backpacks. And they're like, yeah, we're not doing yarn, yeah, da, 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 but we'll do the backpacks. So we sold the backpacks, they were a big hit. Still, I still have my original backpack from ages ago. Um, but reached out uh, technically last year, uh, December time, and they're like, hey, you wanna wholesale some yarn? I was like, hey, yes, please. <laughs> so this is the Maven, Maiden? Maiden. Maiden. Why do I call, wanna call it Maven? Maiden base, which is a two-ply twist fingering weight, 9010, superwash merino and nylon, 
and what we brought in first because I couldn't decide on colors to be perfectly honest was the 12 colors of her zodiac collection so this is the cancer zodiac sign and I love it it's so good beautiful blue it's not it's not a baby blue either it's just that good good blue mm -hmm. um, great for summer I'm super excited about the miles T so and I really like working I like the feel yeah. of this yarn. It's nice. It reminds me a lot of the, a similar twist and feel and roundness that you get with um, Le Garçon's BFL sock, which you all know I love. Um, it's a personal preference, totally, on the twist of your yarn, but I think I really boil it down. I was a single ply fan for ages, and I still love a good single ply. But I think two ply fingering specifically with this kind of a twist. Sometimes they call it a high twist, but it's not like too high of a twist. It's just, I love it. So, ta da! It looks like an awfully small ball because I had to wind it on my mom's winder because our winder was broken, but <laughs> it is fixed as of today, finally. Um, yardage on here, you get 400 yards, 100 grams. It's just lovely. So, those are all my whips that we have to show so look for stay tuned yes. stay tuned is all I'm gonna say <laughs> stay tuned um, all right we yarn have, we have a plethora yes of yarn um, <laughs> to share with you guys because it's been three weeks since we podcast and I think one of these came every single week so let's start with ritual dye since we just chatted about mm -hmm. them um, first I'm going to show the backpacks because we did, uh, restock the backpacks. They have, um, a new feature. Well, we have one of the natural backpacks still left from, I'll say the old days. Um, so it does not have the pocket feature that we'll show here in a second. So one natural left, but the new backpacks have this beautiful leather pocket which is, I mean, it's like a thick leather pocket. It's mm -hmm. very nice. Everything else remains the same. You know, really nice sturdy leather loop here. I like the contrast. So mine was all black, so it has a black leather, but I like the, the tan on that. So this is the black. It is just black. This one, is this one the graphite? Uh, chromite. Uh, chromite, mm -hmm. close. Yep. Chromite, the black leather. Yep, so that one has the black leather, and I would call this almost like a blue steel mm -hmm. kind of. It's not a blue, but it's it's not just plain gray. It's a blue leaning gray. Yes. And then we have pines. So pines is the brown strap with the brown leather, and then the beautiful like khaki olive green. So. That one's my favorite. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. So all these are available on the website and of course in store. And now for the yarn. I can also about these. Three, four, five. Oops, ta-da! Perfect. Okay, so obviously there should be 12 signs of the zodiac. We already sold out of Aries and Aquarius, just let you know not saying we won't restock it because we will but we don't have them to show you because y'all already bought them out <laughs> they're beautiful colors too um, so first off you've already seen it this is cancer this is uh, the July's June and July I guess um, birth color and I love it so many places pick pink for their mm -hmm. Cancer Zodiac, and it's not, it's a water sign. It needs to be <coughs> shades of blue. So, okay. This, one, <coughs> yeah. <gosh. laughs> this one's yeah, Libra. Okay. <laughs> Very it's nice. Beautiful purples and pinks. Pastels. Mm -hmm. Great for spring. Yes. I think we're getting... All of, a lot of them are very good spring colors. They really are. I mean, they're good. Okay. Scorpio. It's... Nice fiery red. Very fiery red. And it's a good red, too, because, like, I'm not a big fan of red, but it's not too blue-leaning, but it's also not too orange-leaning, mm -hmm. either. I mean, it's it looks nice... good with pretty much everybody. Um, 
so that's Scorpio. This is Gemini. Very pretty, mm -hmm. buttery yellow, I would say. It's bright, but without being neon at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I'll say, a very accessible yellow, because a lot of people are like, I love yellow, and I want to knit something yellow for spring, but I don't want to wear yellow. But it's, it's easy to mix with another color if you're too concerned about just wearing something yellow, but it's still, it looks good with mm -hmm. most people. It's got the little mm -hmm. blue speckles. Yeah. Very nice micro speckling. Okay, then we have Taurus. This is a beautiful color. I think this one we are starting to get low on as well. Taurus has been popular. This is Capricorn. I think this one's mine. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Yeah, it was February? No. January. January, yes. yes yeah. I think that's what this yeah. one is. Yeah, that is. Nice. Then we have Virgo. Beautiful green. I love that one. This one, I think we have two or three skeins left. This one's been very popular as well. This is Sagittari Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Deep purple. That's very, very nice. pretty. Mm -hmm. Very rich. Yes. Very eggplanty. I ate a lot of eggplant in England. Really? Aubergine. Mm. That's what they call it. <laughs> yes. Roasted aubergines. <laughs> it's lovely. Um. <laughs> Pisces. I really love this one because it's it's like a gray and then you have that beautiful seafoam mint color mm -hmm. and then little brown and gold speckles. I was really torn between getting either my color or Pisces, but I went with my own. So this is Leo. So it's a little mm -hmm. more of a kind of muted. Muted and almost it has like some more browns. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, it's oddly enough toned down, but very, all I can think of when I see that is like a really cute, cute cartoon lion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's exactly what I, like a little kid's cartoon lion is. Yes. And I think it's adorable. So uh, somebody I think got yarn to knit socks with it because that one oh. will micro stripe um, if you want it for socks, which will be really cool. Okay, so like I said, we are missing, we're sold out already of Aries and Aquarius. Aquarius is a beautiful, deep, 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 deep teal. And then Aries was a gorgeous coral, um, like a fiery coral. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's Ritual Dyes. It's available on the website, of course, in store. Uh, we have another batch of Ritual Dyes in another base on its way should arrive I know it sounds far off it should arrive in May they had some mill issues but it's going to be the uh, summer weight yarn from Ritual Dyes which is going to be fabulous now we this is not a new yarn but it is a restock because they finally finally had the ability to restock it I know we'd gone super low but this is everyone's favorite here in the shop for Texas weather. This is yes. Dapple. So Dapple's from Brooklyn Tweed. It's 60% U.S. Merino, 40% organic cotton. The organic cotton is sourced here in Texas, which is super fun. And um, it is a DK weight, 165 yards. And it's so light and woolen spun. It's fabulous for summer, spring, transitional type garments. Um, if you're anywhere that's slightly warm or gets really hot or humid during the summer, this is a fabulous yarn um, for it. I know I knit my uh, Gloam cardigan, which is like a little topper piece, um, out of Dapple. I knit, I use Dapple in my Easy V. I use Dapple in something else. The Barely There. Barely There. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, well, that's the name of the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the yes, color. That's the color, the, right? Um, um, no Sweat. Shirt. No sweatshirt. Yes. yes. I was like, I'm missing it. The <laughs> almighty, no, that was something else. Okay. So no sweatshirt by Park and Knit um, is knit in the barely there colorway. Yes. So we are, I think we have all the colors um, available. Some are more limited because we couldn't get a big batch of it from the mill, but we have restocked most everything that we could. 
and we'll keep it stocked um, as much as possible. So this is Honeycrisp. This is a beautiful kind of a pinkish red. Pinkish red, corally red mm -hmm. slightly. Uh, it's, it's just a really fun color. Very summery mm -hmm. for sure. This is Current. Kind of a pretty dark but like muted a lot of them are they're, they're like faded they're almost kind of. like a fade or stone wash because mm -hmm. of the cotton content yeah which really gives a unique look and because of the cotton content it also you will get kind of like spin cycle some variegations um because it is also dyed mm -hmm. in the wool um so skein to skein or even within the skein you might get some differences but it's part of its charm i wanted to show all these actually okay so Honeycrisp I already showed you this is Tayberry um, so it's a darker it's not nearly as bright I'm gonna show this one and this is blaze so some people especially on like TV screens and stuff this looks very similar blaze is dark and it's more brick colored mm -hmm. Tayberry is like a mid-tone and it's like a little bit brick leaning but also a little honey crisp and then honey crisp is the brightest so clear up any confusion there it's macaron very very nice. pretty pastel kind of mint sea, yeah sea minty foamy. sea foamy green mm -hmm. very nice um we've got verdigris beautiful green with a blue tint to it slightly turquoise uh, excuse me turquoisey slightly this one's canopy more of a it's a very green this one's a mm -hmm. blue lean yeah green i would say it's more green green green, green. yeah this is cerise this is like an orchid like a dark orchid really really pretty so on the purple-ish family mm -hmm. this one's sea foam it's not quite as pastel mm -mm. as macaron but a little bit um lighter than canopy i'll say that name bugs me because it's not at all it's the not, color of seafoam no i've seen a lot of seafoam <laughs> in my life and i've never seen seafoam that color <laughs> uh, okay petal so this is one of the i guess it was last year they released new colors and this is like a, just a soft petal pink very very sweet this one's barely there you can just barely tell it has a tint of pinkish hold up the color. natural yes. too. So this one's natural and this is barely there yeah S yeah so just like a drop of pink got mixed in there mm -hmm. is just it doesn't really read pink for a lot of people but it's also not natural you know um medallion beautiful mustard color mustard yellow it's black walnut kind of a I don't know if it's just the neon sign, but it's like a purplish it's, black. It's, it has ish. like a little bit of purple in it, but then it's also got a like espresso brown because mm -hmm. then you put like you put yeah. current next to it and it's obviously brown. If you put the anchor with it, then it's brown, but it's kind of morphing a little mm -hmm. bit. So current, walnut, anchor. Yes, so that's anchor. Then this is salt water, beautiful blue, lovely color. This is honey bear, nice honey, it, yeah. orange color. It's bit orange more brown, bit more orangey brown than the medallion. Mm -hmm. Then plinth, nice gray, yep. and periwinkle. More of a purpley blue. Did I not? Do we miss one? Blueprint. Oh, did I not grab blueprint? Let me go on. And it blueprint. Is. So, the blues. Yes. Is there one more? Yes. There is. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're not very prepared. <laughs> I was about to say, we didn't talk we didn't talk about my favorite. So this is Cosmos. 
So this is like a, a navy blue-ish stone wash. So there's all there the blue. There we go. <laughs> so Cosmos, Blueprint, Periwinkle, Saltwater. And that's actually all the colors. <laughs> so again, Dapple, you can shop it on the website. And uh, it's restocked. Now how to get to this. <laughs> Oh, oh well. Okay. It, it didn't want to join the party, clearly. <laughs> so, yesterday, uh, the mailman delivered a lovely giant, giant, giant box of Spin Cycle just in time for our store anniversary. So, it is available on the website now. And we have tons and tons to show you. Yes. I'm so excited. Okay. Good to start. Yeah. Okay, here's, okay, so this is, we have mostly dyed in the wool. We have one dream state. Do you want to talk about, yeah, we'll do yeah. dream state first. Okay, because we just got in one. Um, dream state in Dear Diary, so this is a new to dream state color. Um, it's super nice and sweet and pink and purple, mostly purple, but mm -hmm. a tiny bit of pink in there. So that's our one new color on dream state. We do have right now a nice big chunk of dream state yes. available. And then in dyed in the wool, this is dream world. The deep greens and purples, a little bit of like a burgundy. Mm hmm. Very nice. Yeah. That's a new. I don't know that it's new to dyed in the wool, but a new to us color for sure. This is a restock. This is Kyoto. So this is one of the, I'll say, semi solid or tonal spin cycle colors, which are stunning. Mm hmm. They really are. So that's Kyoto. This is Nostalgia, so this is a restock. This one, a little more um, burgundy purple than the mm -hmm. true purple or the blue leaning purple of Dream World. Uh, nostalgia is what I used in my first shift, um, that burgundy color in that. Okay, <laughs> stay ready. <laughs> this Look. batch is so so this is like a good old classic batch of Stay Ready, and I definitely took some home. But this is like that beautiful gray. You got a lot of nice browns in it. It's just, it's a good one. This one <laughs> is Stay Out of the Forest. This is bright. It's kind of. It doesn't show up as bright on camera, but in real life, it's bright it's red very, bright orange red mm -hmm. with a little bit of the blues very pretty that's another new to us yes. color and i'll say there's so a lot of these we got like multiple so like that one has a lot of the darker colors in it we also have a whole batch that's mostly just the brighter oranges mm -hmm. with just a little bit of the blue and the dark so as always, if you're looking at Spin Cycle Colors, please contact us. You can um, send us an email. You can text the shop phone. Um, you can call the shop phone. We can send you photographs of, you know, it's like, oh, I really love that color. Can you send me a picture of the skeins you have? And then you pick out the ones that you're looking for. That's the best way to buy Spin Cycle, in my opinion. So preferably do that before you place your order because after you place your order, if we don't get it, you know, if it's not like at midnight, well, then we're going to see the email first thing. But if you delay, then sometimes it can get shipped out before you reach out or we see that you've reached out. So this is Afternoon Delight. I'll say this batch is a bit darker and richer than the mm -hmm. one we had before, but it's beautiful. So Afternoon Delight has these beautiful browns in there and then mostly deep these navies and teals and greens it's just so pretty this is a restock of light years mm -hmm. very pretty greens and blues mm -hmm. light years is what andrew maury used in her tessellated um, cardigan so we have plenty to make that color combo again mm -hmm. this is one uh, new for dyed in the wool this is sex on the beach and this is a really good mix of purples and blues and well mostly purples and teals and oranges 
really fun, fun skein for sure. This one is Stone Town, another green uh, tonal. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very vibrant. Yes, very bright. Kathy used that in her tessellated. Oh, I never said that. Um, her tessellated socks um, that she did. She used Stone Town. Okay, full confession. Uh, I took my socks to England. <laughs> And I was knitting on them and apparently being very grumpy towards them because two people, actually three people, were like, why are you knitting on those? And I was like, well, because I, I need to. We did this thing and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, because they already, you know, two days into it, realized I hate knitting socks. It's like, why are you doing this? I was like, because I have to. And they're like, no, you don't. And they're like stop knitting on them and so I did I broke off the yarn I actually gave the yarn away because I was like I don't even want to bring this home and we uh chucked them in the fire and burned them <laughs> so the tessellated socks are no longer a whip at all ever <laughs> a quick way to get rid yes. of them I mean it's there was like this much and I was not ripping back the surrey and everything else so yeah. it I may have shocked and horrified someone by saying that <laughs> but it's not like it was a full completed sock at all so all right let's continue see. since on the low is this a restock that's or? a new yes it's so good mm -hmm. nice um uh, purples and greens vibrant yes uh this is i think this one's a restock this is bright ideas but i feel like this is brighter than the other batch of bright ideas that we've had. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. So you've got like the greens, you've got basically every shade of green in here and then some yellows and oranges, which is super fun. This is Valley Girl. This mm -hmm. is a restock, I believe. Yes, it is. Nice blues and pinks and yellows. That's a good skein of good. Valley Girl mm -hmm. too. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. I think the last batch we had were mostly the blues, which is a little bit of the pinks mm -hmm. and that's just a really good one. Another restock is Havana. Letter. It was so funny because we sold out of Havana about two hours before this new batch came in. So it was only out of stock for a little bit. But Havana is another tonal that's just gorgeous. So good. And if you all know Kathy, she owns this now <laughs> in her stash as well. Let's see, this one's Pick Your Poison. I believe this is also restock. It is. Um, I think this was one of the first ones we got. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, very very faded muted purples and yeah. greens and blues if you're not a big fan of color but want like a little bit of color you don't necessarily want like stay ready mm -hmm. or something like that it would be a good one um to get if you like those muted and neutral okay i'm gonna save this one for last because it's the best um ba -ba -ba, what do i want to show Oh, I'm going to show both of these because I already confused them in the store. <laughs> um, so this is, yes, this is Rusted Rainbow. Very dark um, batch of Rusted I love Rainbow. This batch. It's so good. Um, not as much red. No, there really isn't, which if you're not a fan of all the red taking center stage usually um this has a lot of the purple and the brown mm -hmm. gorgeous also we have shades of earth and they were right next to each other and i combined them without realizing it so they are different but they're very very similar mm -hmm. this batch um shades of earth this run it is a bit more pinkish leaning but it has a lot of the similar tones so i mean if you want to go like all tonal i would do that would make a beautiful shift right there. So that's Rusted Rainbow, Shades of Earth, and Sex on the Beach. If you love these like autumn colors, mm -hmm. that would be just perfect. You could also throw in the Pick Your Poison. Ooh, yeah. For a little bit of kind of subtlety, that would be really pretty. Because it has like, you have the one vein of like this like mossy chartreuse going through all of them, mm -hmm. which is really pretty. Shift kits forever. <laughs> this 
next one's purse first another um purple with the the tealish blue mm-hmm. running through it i think somebody at spin cycle really likes purple because <laughs> a lot i of, know there's a lot of purple <laughs> there's in a here. lot of purples um that was also one of our very first colors as well um let me show you Okay, we got Bombaloni back in stock, and this one is, like, more blended than the mm-hmm. other skeins that we got, and I really, really like it. I like this one. Yeah. So, Bombaloni has, like, teal and a little bit of green, and then... The pink. Pink and, brown. like, brown and coral, and even, like, a little periwinkle in there. It's really, really pretty. Mm-hmm. This one's Dead Reckoning. It's kind of the, um, the blues. Where's Havana? Oh, got like the blues that Havana has with yeah. a little bit of purple and some pink. Mm-hmm. I do like that. Ooh. Ah. It's like that's a Kathy shift. Yeah. <laughs> you could also do, you could also go with that because mm-hmm. it has that purple bit through there. Yep. Okay. Um, I'll show this one because I keep. So we've had Big <laughs> Sky before. <laughs> and Big Sky, our last batch of Big Sky was very, very pink. Yes. Very, very pink. Then I go over to England, and Carmen of Yarn Story also carries Spin Cycle. She had some for their little marketplace. And I was like, oh, I haven't seen this color of Spin Cycle before. It's gorgeous, and it was this beautiful. It had, like, these shades of green and then, like, some gray and then a little bit of neon. I was like, what color is this? And I picked this, and just as I was picking it up, she said, big sky. And I'm like, no, it's not. Big Sky's pink. And she's like, never been pink. I'm like, I pulled up the photo. I'm like, look, Big Sky, it's pink. What do we get? Like, neither of those. This is like <laughs> all, this is like an all neon with a tiny bit of pink in there and a tiny bit of the green in there. Um, yeah, so that's the fun part of Spin Cycle <laughs> is you never quite know what you're getting. And it's awesome, which is why... You end up collecting Spin Cycle. Yes. Okay, this one's Kol- Kolkata. Kolkata. The, I don't I'm, know how you pronounce it's it. It's a city name. I did know that. So mm-hmm. all the um, tonals are named after cities. Yes. So it's a nice pink tonal. Mm-hmm. Very pretty. Yeah. Somebody, um, I think we shared a shift cowl, and I think they used the Kolkata in theirs as well. It was very, very pretty. Um, we also got back classic colorway Mississippi Marsala. I love this batch. I feel like this is a classic Mississippi Marsala batch too. So mm-hmm. you've got that beautiful like sky Montana blue, very, very midwest, uh, midwest, very western vibes mm-hmm. with this. So yes, maybe knit yourself a rodeo Ooh. for next year, a rodeo accessory. Yes. This one's one of my personal favorites. <laughs> this is straw flower. It's got the reds and yellows and blues. I'm gonna go get that other stain of straw. Flower oh yeah, there's a, a lot. Yes. They're all straw flower. This is this is all the same color. This one's really. This one has a lot of the pinks in it. Mm-hmm. That's like pretty. That mm-hmm. I'm just over here grabbing more. Yep. <laughs> it's fine. I wanted to show you the rusted rainbow. Oh yeah. So right now we have both of these in stock. So we have the very red rusted rainbow, and then we have the very not red rusted mm-hmm. rainbow. And then I, I did find we have one skein left of Big Sky. <laughs> Big Sky. And Big, Big Sky. Sky. <laughs> <laughs> so again, but that's the fun part. Like, if you really liked both of these, then, like, put something else with it and do a shift cowl, you know? And it's yeah. fun. I like it. Here, I'll... Which ones did you? <laughs> there. Okay. I was like, I that... had three. Yeah, because it's technically two. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm calling it Mizuzu. That's I, what I was gonna say too. <laughs> Mizuzu. <laughs> this is another sure. tonal, uh, burgundy, uh, maroon, maroon burgundy. I don't know, um, purplish. Very pretty. 
I would say we could call that maroon and not get Aggies to yell at us. I think so. Oh, that was okay. So <laughs> I am not an Aggie or a UT alum, but this wedding that we went to, it was all UT. Well, mostly UT. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they um, they performed is all I could say the fight song for UT at the wedding, which was very interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, this is Midsummer, and um, it's beautiful. So Midsummer was also in the shift cow that I did. Um, it was Midsummer, Love Spell, and Nostalgia. We are still out of Love Spell, but. There's lots of other colors you could use mm -hmm. instead, for sure. So Midsummer just has that classic pink and yellow, and it's basically all your wildflowers, kind of, um, in this game, Very which pretty. is really pretty. This one's... I'm Syringa. Syringa. Yeah. Syringa. Um, That's a again, another one. purple. Mm -hmm. Again, with the purples. <laughs> <laughs> um, more of a blue-leaning purple. And it's got the gray Very, in there, which mm -hmm. is pretty. Very pretty. And last but not least, what did we get? We got Ghost Ranch. Yay! But this, <laughs> that's why I'm holding up both because we got, I'll say, classic Ghost Ranch with your beautiful navies and the, the corals and mm -hmm. blues and yellows and all the things. And then we got a very, very pink batch mm -hmm. of Ghost Ranch, which I think is also it's so stunning. pretty. So. And we got quite a few skeins of Ghost Ranch, so. Yes. Maybe they won't sell out as fast this time. Maybe. We'll see. I think they've all been gone in a day. Pretty right? much. Um, they've gone in a day, so we'll see. I mean, we haven't really announced mm -hmm. it, which is why the spin cycle hasn't, like, totally blown off the shelves yet. So that's all of the yarn. Um, I do want to show. Oh, okay. There. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on. I just grab another well, one. Yeah. I uh, didn't realize the camera setup was on the book. Ta da! We have the new spring issue of Lane Magazine or Lina Magazine available. It's filled with beautiful patterns. There's, um, there's actually a whole, I didn't even realize this. It's a whole study on knitting in these past few years, which is really crazy, um, but fun. Then you've got um, some beautiful patterns in here. I wanted to find the Rebecca Quo one in here. Yeah, that's a good picture. Plata. Um, I'm assuming is how we're saying this and it's like a gingham kind of style super cute um, lots of really nice shapes I really like mm -hmm. this one that cardigan with like kind of a staggered rib so pretty um, I think it's half fisherman's rib if I Totally wrong. It's Shaker Stitch, um, which I believe is it's not brioche. It's a um, type of kind of a half fisherman's rib. So, anyway, we have a few of these left. Um, if you want to grab one for yourself, we are five minutes past when we're supposed to be open. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we will wrap this up. It's been a long one, but thank you so much. We are having our big store anniversary celebration going on now. You can join us online um, on the website. Take a look. And uh, thank you guys for being here for the past seven years because actually the podcast was started um, the first summer that I had the shop, which would have been the summer of 2018. So podcast is coming up on six years. And uh, thank you for all of you guys that have tuned in over the years, whether it's been by myself with a special guest, back with Becky, now with Kaylee. I'm sorry, I just had a weird thing <laughs> pop into my head because we were discussing the spelling of your name at the thing because they were like, oh yeah, that would be totally normal. 
because it's oh really in Ireland yeah oh. they're like mm-hmm. well that's not weird not at yeah, all. Yeah, so it's not. It's it's definitely an Irish thing. Yes. Um, but anyway, have a great day, guys. Thanks for being around, and we will see you guys on the next episode, and hopefully around the shop for our anniversary. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.